Uh, hello, this is a exer another radar exercise. It's, it's basically uh, doing a radar position fix. So we can do a radar position fix several ways. We can intersect two, uh, two bearing lines, or we can do a range and bearing, or we can do two ranges. The most accurate of those is two ranges uh, with a radar. Uh, but in, in this, this example, it doesn't really, this question on a quiz question I'm going to do doesn't say, doesn't care how we fix it, it just wants to know the fix. The other thing is, uh, and what I'm doing is a question number, quiz number 403, question number 23. And I want to stress that we have a video that in very, in very detailed steps shows how to work this type of problem using our simulator. It's not so much the radar, you know, it's just setting up the simulator to get into the situation we want to study. Once, it, once that's all set up, the actual radar operations are all pretty easy, as I want to show. So for working this number 23, uh, the main thing is go look at that other video, and I'll put the link to that in it. Here, the main, we're just using a trick of our simulator. Our radar simulator lets us do this. We can have, like, here's the scenario. Here's our default scenario. Here's our vessel heading up the road this way. And here's another target coming down this way. So you see, I'm looking at that target. If I look at my radar scan here, see, I'm looking at that guy, right, up there charts okay stop let me stop that stop that okay now if I want to identify that target I could go over here and sit identify and then this will come up here it's a B that's target B coming at me and so what I can do is say you can maneuver I can maneuver any of these targets ask for the CPA or I can jump to and let me jump to target B so now I'm on my radar is up here See, my radar is up here, like in that. So you see now, that that's a nice way to study radar interactions because you now you see previously here's here's where I was now I'm a target for uh, I'm a target for this guy who's coming down this way. No, no, look, I'm in the north up mode here. I'm in the north up mode. Okay, so that's uh, that's what that's in other words. This is we're just using a trick of the radar simulator to be able to do multiple uh, bearing problems with the basically the same setup and the same chart. So that's the technique I'm going to use. I'm going to just uh, pause for a minute and then come back and finish this one. Okay, we can carry on now with the problem. Uh, we need to go, it says we got to go to these uh, problems uh, in here. Problem four, right here, so that's that. So that's that scenario. And then there's a discussion up here. We don't need that now. We just, we're just going to jump to target C. And then, uh, okay, so, but I have to load that. Let me just see load the scenario I selected it oh okay there I loaded it all right so here's now the so here's where this target here's where the default target A is and then if I go down the list here a little bit now here are these other this is one this scenario has one target here which is a default target A let's see we're in north up mode north up mode so this vessel's headed sort of south here and that's A and I think and these red dots here, these are targets. Now, normally over here you would say identify, but let's see, see that sweep? That sweeps there. Now, let's just increase the range. We're at range 0 0.75, 1.53, and uh, okay. In this scenario, the highest we can make the range go, that's not like a normal radar, but in this scenario, it's limited to three, range ring three. So it means that if we hit identify, we're not going to see these vessels out here. They're just outside the edge, but they are there. And this exercise is telling us we want to find out where is, okay, let's shut this off. We want to find out where is target C located. We want to we plot the position of C on the chart. So in other words, this jumping from from A to C here, that's just a trick to get us onto that target. So let's do that. I want to jump to and then C. Now, 
actually these things are lit up like that because I've been playing around clicking one or the other but now you see I'm on C down here now that's my target C all right I can shut that off for now and C is headed in this way and um, uh, you know it really doesn't matter we're gonna we're not ask what we want to find out now is where is that target where are we located so what we want to do is go to the charts <coughs> And then it tells us we're in rich passage approach. It's this one. So you click this, you click this, and then this is the one you want to print right here. And I have that over here in my, oh, wait a minute, it's right here. Uh, that's the PDF of that. Oh, I can delete these for now. I'm just going to, that's the, what I'm going to do to solve it. Um, okay. Okay, so here's our here's our target. Then I can center on this one if I want to, like that. And you see, there's okay. So there's where we're located. We're located somewhere here, and then our job is just to use radar alone to figure out to figure out where we are. And so I could go. Let me just increase the range. Oh, I can. I got decrease the range a little bit. And so I want to see where we how low can I go. Okay, that one is too small. I don't see anything. This looks like it's the range where I'm seeing. I've got two targets. So I could find out my position now. To, and in fact, the, it asks you to solve the problem over here using this, this view. And I could solve my position. I could find my position on this, on this chart. Where is that chart? On this chart. That's a chart that's sitting on the chart table. And I can, I'm in the radar. My boat's in this position. Am I stopped? Yes, I'm stopped. Zero speed. And I want to find out where I am. So there's easy ways to do it. You could do it. I want to turn on the EBL. I'm going to just do it a quick way with the EBL. So I'm just going to say I've got, uh, and, and what makes it easy here is I'm in the north up mode. So this is an actual true bearing here. What's that say? 68R. Why is that R? I'm in north up, EBL relative. Okay, that's better. Okay, so this is, there. you have an option in here to measure the EBLs relative, but we don't want relative. We want everything north up. So if I go right to the center of this guy, what is this? This is like nine degrees. So, I, what, and, that's, and that we know, we know from looking at the chart that I'm taking a picture not of a, of a, of a buoy <coughs> of a buoy now if I were moving if I were actually moving going this direction this thing would leave a target going right out like that parallel to me just straight out like that and his and the and his speed of relative motion this direction would be exactly my speed that way but I'm stopped and so that's a that's a buoy and he's bearing oh, oh I'm gonna write that down oh oh eight oh oh eight oh 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 nine 009 okay true that's a true bearing all right now the other thing I could do is if for a quick fix here I could just go back around here and take a, a bearing to this headland right here now these are not the most accurate but it's it's pretty good it's pretty good and that one is 235 so that's 235 true so you see it's just like I've done a bearing fix with compass with a hand bearing compass but I've done it with a radar, and in this case, I'm heads up, I mean, I'm north up, and I'm taking true bearings. So I have a position fix. So we're, in a sense, done with the radar, and I can come back to this, uh, this plot here. So we want to find out where we are. And so, and I'm using, this is Adobe Acrobat. Oh, now I'm not sure if Adobe Reader does this or not, but you're... I'm just illustrating the procedure. You would be doing this once you know 009 true to the buoy, 235 true to the headland, Blake Spit, Blake Island Spit, then you would just plot this with parallel rulers and dividers right on the chart and get your fix. But I'm going to I'm going to do it here this way. I'm coming out of here and I have a bearing 009, 009 right there. So I put my parallel rulers on there. And I'm down here, so that's that buoy. So I know from that first observation that I'm somewhere on that line. Then what did I find? I find I'm at a 235 from here. So I just go back up here with my, again, your parallel rulers. Uh, click that. Your parallel rulers. And that's bearing, what was that, 235. 
two, three, five is here, like that. Oh, no, wait just a minute. Two thirty. Yeah, no, that was right. You got to always check to see that you got the right, right mark here. Two, three, five, and you see with a lot of noise on there. But that's something you have to do all the time. Okay, and then that's a that's that spit right there. Okay, whoop. It didn't, oh, I know what. It didn't like me being off the chart. Ah, that's interesting. Okay, so it's there. So there's my position right there. So I can draw a line. I can, now, okay. So these charts, remember throughout our entire course, these charts, we don't have lat lawn and we don't have inches north and south or anything. We ask that whenever you find a position on the chart, that you tell us where is that position in terms of range and bearing from the center of the chart. So in this case, this is uh, uh, bearing like um, 105, 104. So it's 104 degrees, 105 degrees from the center of the chart and then there's this distance now and you would put your dividers on here on here this dividers from here to here and then just bring it down here I don't have a way to do that but I can I've got this trick tool in a Mac here called pixel stick and I can bring that up here and just calibrate this this little gadget and I'm gonna set that to 9 Let's see what that is. 9.0. Okay. I test it. And see, then once that's 9, I can go here and see I'm reading 4.5 and so forth. So then I can just set this up here. This is just the same thing, exact same thing you would do with your dividers. You'd put your dividers on there and bring it down here, and I get 4.26. So I've got, uh, what, so my answer to the problem is 4.26 at, and I think I got 105. So that's the answer, and uh, that's how you work that that problem. And remember, though, the whole setup and the idea of you know getting into the chartlets and jumping around. That's all discussed in. Uh, oh, sorry for the lawn work outside here. Looks like okay. Uh, stop.